So I've been getting many questions about the Intel CPUs compared to the AMD FX 8350. Well, the Intel Core i5 3570K seems to be the gamer's choice of CPU these days. However, you know, you really have to take a lot of things into consideration. On my gaming rig here, I'm getting terrific results. I've overclocked it, and I did a video previously on overclocking this CPU, brought it up to 4.8 gigahertz. Here in SI Software Sandra, the uh, synthetic benchmarks, it compares this CPU overclocked to the Intel Core i5-3570K. Now, with turbo mode enabled, that chip does really well. However, here in these benchmarks, we're talking about the gigaflops, the operations per second, the floating point unit. These are critical results that show good performance, if not greater, overall for the AMD 8350. So when you really shop around for a chip, you try to figure out, okay, do I want eight cores? Do I want um, uh, the uh, hyper threading? Do I want to save myself um, anywhere from 20 bucks to 50 bucks? Because I mean, right now, uh, the AMD 8350 can go for anywhere from uh, 190 to 199 dollars US. The uh, Intel Core i5 costs at least maybe 30 dollars more. Okay, now. Um, Another thing to think about is performance versus power, okay? Because when you overclock the AMD chip, it's going to get hotter than if you overclocked the Intel chip. So the Intel chip runs cooler by default, we know that, but you get more capacity, more performance for the price from the AMD overall, okay? And um, I did some benchmarks previously in my last video to kind of prove that. However, you know, it all depends on you, right? How much you want to spend. You want to spend more for the Intel uh, build or not. On W Prime here, the multi-threading uh, benchmark, calculating to 32M, you can see here 7.317 seconds for the AMD machine. On the left, I did that. And then on the right-hand side, if I compared it to an Intel Core i5-3570 at 4.9 gigahertz overclocked, it took more, 7.4 seconds. So you see how well it did there? overclocked the AMD machine. Now on 3D Mark 11, even though we're benchmarking the graphics cards, I took two scores that are using the exact same graphic cards with the same drivers. So we're really only comparing how well the Intel Core i5 did against the AMD FX running at, you know, close close overclocking speeds, 4.5 uh, gigahertz versus 4.7 gigahertz. Um, I must admit, though, the Intel machine has 16 gigs of memory as opposed to the AMD, which only has 8 gigs of memory, so that's a little bit unfair. But still, look how well the AMD machine did in the scores, okay? So it's basically a head-to-head -head comparison here. It's almost identical, almost identical, and um, I can't really say that one is better than the other in this case, okay? Now, games. I mean, when you're running games at 1080p, you know, 1920 times 1080, which is what these benchmarks are showing right now, on ultra high, everything full blast. Um, can you really tell the difference in, um, in in the frames per second? You're not, right? You're in the you're in the heat of the moment, playing your games. Everything is smooth. Uh, the graphics are all you know terrific to look at, and you you don't care whether you're getting 10 frames per second more or less. So I mean, yes, you can go out there and look at other benchmarks. Uh, that people have done on the uh, Intel Core i5-3570, but then again, it has to be with the exact same graphic cards. If you're looking at this with other graphic cards, then there's no point looking at the uh, video review, okay? There's no point because, uh, uh, you know, you got to compare systems with the exact same graphic card configuration. So, so that way it eliminates the graphic cards and it really only concentrates on how well the CPU works with those graphic cards to complement it and boost in performance. Now, I know I'm only reviewing it at 1080p. Obviously, you know, running things in Ifinity with multiple monitors, that's where we see some uh, performance changes. But again, this is not a video review on graphic cards. This is really about the CPU. If you haven't watched my first video on the overclocking, I'll add the link below. Comment below, let me know what you think about this gaming rig. I think it's a terrific machine. And again, thank you for watching.